Hey guys, welcome to today's call. I'm really, really glad to have a, a guest of honor today with me, uh, Bradley from Helium 10 itself. Let me just tell you what Helium 10 is. It's the best software that in all my years of selling on Amazon, I found for what is the private label world. And uh, I uh, started using Helium uh, just about over a year ago. And I, start, I started building all my listings using Helium 10. Now, Bradley is going to go through with me on a series of calls. This is only the first call that I'm going to do with Bradley, where we are going to go through today on the, the black box, which is the feature that Helium 10 uses to find profitable products to sell on Amazon. But just to give you a little bit of background of what Helium does for me, I started using Helium 10 to find products to create my own listings, talking about uh, the keywords, the kind of reverse search engine keywords of the top sellers on Amazon, which helps you to, to find um, the best titles, bullet points, descriptions, and for every product I've used Helium 10 for, I managed to get my products on private label to the very first page within a few days. But, let me uh, introduce you. Bradley is going to take over from here because he, he, he is the expert and he's going to take you through today how Black Box work, which is one of Helium Times features on how to find profitable products with low competition to sell on Amazon. So thanks for being here, Bradley. I'll let you take over. All right. Well, thanks for having me. It's a, it's a privilege to be um, able to talk to your audience. And uh, as he said, we're going to be talking today uh, about product research and, and we're going to use black box and a, and a couple of other tools because uh, regardless if you're a brand new seller and you do not sell anything yet on Amazon, well, you're going to need to find a product to sell on Amazon. Uh, if you're an experienced seller, you want to scale your business, you want to find more products to be able to carry. Well, you would use this same process. So if you are a one figure seller or a seven figure seller, uh, you're going to find value in this. And again, I'm showing you how to use Helium 10 but I want you guys to um, take what I'm teaching here. Regardless, if you use Helium 10 or not, the, the strategy here is going to be good. Even if you use another tool, I don't know why you would use another tool, but <laughs> in case you do, it's okay. You'll still be able to learn something. Uh, I don't want you to turn it off because, oh, I use another tool. Don't worry. You're going to be able to learn something. I guarantee it today. So one thing that's important for everybody to understand about product research, and this has nothing to do with Helium 10, but we need to think uh, like a buyer. Uh, a lot of times we only think like a seller, but we need to think like a buyer. Uh, also, we can't have the entrepreneur regular mind always. You know, like if for entrepreneurs, what they do is they tell you, hey, uh, invest yourself or do what is your passion. Okay. So, and that's what you'll be best at. And that is good advice. But in Amazon, it doesn't work like that. For example, what if your passion is, is uh, cell phone cases? All right. Uh, does that mean you're going to be successful selling cell phone cases on Amazon? Of course not, because cell phone cases is one of the most difficult categories and most competitive. So on Amazon, a lot of times you are going to choose, you have to choose a product. Maybe you don't know anything about it, uh, but that doesn't mean you're going to be unsuccessful. The reason why you have to choose some of these products is because uh, you need to find the product where there's opportunity and the opportunity is not always where you have passion. So that's very important, especially for you new, uh, you experienced sellers, you probably have already learned that. But for you new sellers, make sure that you know that you cannot just pick what you love and think you'll be successful selling it. You have to find the opportunity. Number two, Amazon is not about showing great ideas or new inventions. It's not Kickstarter, okay? Amazon is about existing demand. Uh, maybe I'm going to sell a, a cell phone case that has a special laser pointer uh, coming out of whatever, some really cool invention. And maybe it's really cool, like very useful. You will fail at Amazon. Why? Nobody knows such a thing exists. Nobody knows there is a such thing as a phone case with a laser pointer. So that means nobody is searching for it. And if nobody is searching for it, nobody's going to find your product. So Amazon is about finding the existing demand. Helium 10 is going to help to show you what people are searching for, what people are buying already. And then now what you have to do is look at different indications or signs that this might be a product or a niche that uh, 
has opportunity, that there's not that much competition. So let, let, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to share my screen here if I can. I'm let's so see. glad that you just mentioned all these things, Bradley, because uh, uh, I get a lot of people saying, oh, I've got my own product, but I put it on Amazon, but it's not selling. And it's something that I always advise to all my students. On Amazon, you must take the passion for what you love away because what you might love might not be something that the other people love. And this exactly. is without offending anybody. It is exactly as you said, looking for things that are already selling that you might not never heard of. So yeah, yeah. I let you, sorry, sorry for interrupting that. No, no, that, that's exactly right. Um, and so you take that passion that he mentioned about the product, but make the passion about the process. Put that passion to the Amazon, make it a game. That's, that's what I always did before. For those who don't know my history, I've only worked at Helium 10, not even one year. Before I was a consultant for Amazon sellers uh, and I launched personally over 400 products in two years uh, for different companies. And so uh, that was, it was like a game to me. You know, like I, my passion, I was not passionate about most of the products. Actually the products I was doing was a, a lot of diet pills well, yes, I should be passionate about diet pills. I'm a little bit overweight, but I wasn't that passionate about it. But the other one was Korean beauty products. I maybe did 150 Korean beauty products. Of course, I could care less about Korean beauty uh, you know, products. Uh, um, I, uh, you can tell from my skin. But the point was, I still had the passion about the process. And that's what you have to do. Channel your passion away from a product, put it to the process, and this is the process. We're about to go over it now. So the tool we're going to uh, talk about, the very starting point, regardless of what level Amazon seller you are, you start with Blackbox, which is the premier Amazon product research tool on the planet. If you have used other tools, you might be familiar with some of these filters. It's not something that is completely you know, brand new. Um, it is something that you know, maybe a lot of you are familiar with, but there's a few different features that only Helium 10 has. One, one important thing, uh, Emmanuel, do you know what, how many products Helium 10 has in its database? How many Amazon products do we have in our database? Have you ever, do you know? I think you've got a few millions. I can't remember exactly, but- uh, A few million. Yeah. 450 million, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 450 million products. So if, if it's out there, it's going to be here in Helium 10. And that's a, a bigger database than any company other than Amazon itself, which obviously would have the biggest database of Amazon products. So uh, we are here in Amazon US. That's what uh, I know the best, but uh, all of what we're doing right now, whether you sell in Canada, Germany, Spain, France, Italy, or UK, you'll be able to do this exact same process. And this process that I'm doing is not exact. I don't want you to think that you have to put the exact same filters. I'm just giving you a guideline. You do what works for you. Uh, there is literally maybe 10,000 different combinations, at least, that you can do here. There is no one only right way. I'm just gonna show you one of the 10,000 ways and you decide what works for you. So the first thing, why don't you tell me which cat, you know, by the way, everybody, we did not practice anything here. I am completely, we are live, you know, uh, I have no idea what we're going to choose, but no problem. I don't have to prepare because I know Let's Helium 10. the baby's categories, uh, brother. Yeah. So which, which one would you like us to? Uh, uh, Let's start from baby. Baby. Okay. Only, only that one or any others at the same time or just, if, if it's only one, that's fine too. No, let's do multiple categories. So okay. it's going to give us a very um, multitude of products to look for. Uh, let's do home and kitchen that has got a lot of products as well. Okay. And, yep. um, and uh, maybe uh, health and beauty as well. Right there. All right, cool. Yeah. There's three categories. Three. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh, for me, I'm just going to put here $5,000 estimated monthly revenue. All right. So basically that means that, hey, I'm asking Helium 10 out of your 450 million products. Now take it down to all of the ones in these three categories that is estimated making at least $5,000 uh, per month. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is, is price. I'm going to say between, let's just say 17 and, uh, $27. And this is completely random, but there is a reason why I am putting these prices. Yeah. Um, I put a minimum of 17 because let's say you've got a $10 product, retail $10. You know, maybe you can sell a lot, but you need to think about Amazon takes 15%. Uh, you've got the manufacturing costs. You've got packaging costs. You have to pay from Amazon or from your factory 
to get to Amazon, maybe some custom duty taxes. Now you have to pay Amazon the FBA fee to get from Amazon to the customer. After all of that is done, maybe your profit margin is too low, you know, on a $10 product. So that's why I put 17. And pay per clicks. You agree too, right? Yes, and pay per clicks as well. Once you get it, also Amazon. I didn't even mention that one. Yes, Uh, pay per click is another cost, right? So it's very, uh, you know, sometimes that's $1, $2, $3, just right there. Now, 27, I put as the maximum, and this is only for this, exercise because let's say you had an $80 product retails $80 maybe your cost is 15 or $20 you know so, so you might think hey that's a lot of profit but think about if you have a, a minimum order quantity 1000 units from the factory you have a product that costs you $20 you're talking about an investment of well over $20,000 once you consider everything and for most of you um, maybe that is, you know, not possible. I, I know that's not possible for me. I, I don't have a $20,000 in my bank account. I can just, I can just, uh, invest. But that being said, let's say you do, maybe you have a lot of money or you have some investors. Well, in that case, I would actually put minimum like 30 or $40. Why? Because I know that 90% of sellers maybe cannot afford those things. And so that actually would give me uh, an advantage to find the expensive items that my competitors or potential competitors can't afford to invest in. So like I said, there's no right or wrong thing that you can put here. You do what works best for you. Now, the next things I'm going to, uh, I want to proceed it with a, a little bit of an example. What is something that you have ordered as a customer, as a buyer on Amazon lately, or what have you searched for? Um, let's say, uh, um, nappies, um, what do you call them? Diapers. Oh, okay. For my babies, we are looking on the babies category, so diapers. Let's just say, let me just say diaper bag. Yeah. All right. So, so here are diaper bags. All right. We're in the baby category. Now, yeah. um, let me just take a look here. This is something I have not searched for in 15 years since my kids are old already. <laughs> so I don't know too much about this. Okay. So almost everything here is, is, is um, let me see which one. Yeah. Review account. Okay. So take a look here. Let's okay. Perfect. Perfect. This is a good example. Um, let's say you see this one, 3,600 reviews, right? Uh, this one, 600 reviews. Let's just say that all of these here on the top row were all like 1,000 reviews, 2,000, 3,000. All right. And then you saw this one seven reviews. Now you as a buyer, which one would you probably click on last? The one with the seven reviews. And why is that? Because you would trust somebody that has got tons of positive reviews rather than somebody with less reviews. So this product for me, I could see looking at this, if everyone would be with thousands of reviews, also the competition would be really, really high. Exactly. Right. If I see people, just the one seller with uh, 3,000 reviews and the others with less than 500, then this would look like a very nice category to source from because the competition wouldn't be that high. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's very important, what, he, what you just mentioned. Because again, this is about putting our buyer hat on. And any one of us usually are also customers of Amazon. And you need to think about when you search for things, the psychology, you know, sometimes you don't think about it, it's just natural, but the psychology is that, hey, I see a lot of reviews. I'm going to pick that item first, all right? So I'm going to put here maximum, let's just say 40 reviews, all right? What does this mean? I'm saying, hey, show me something that has less than 40 reviews because if there is something that has less than 40 reviews uh, but or a small number of reviews, but still making $5,000 a month, again, that tells me maybe one of two things. Number one, maybe not everybody has 5,000 reviews on page one because if they, were, if they did, who's going to buy this product? Probably not that many people. So it's selling, it has to be selling somehow. So that's, or number two, maybe uh, regardless of the number of reviews, maybe there, everybody else on page one does have 5,000 reviews, but my, or this product is the only one that meets a specific need. So then the customer has no choice. They like, they have to pick that one because it's the only one that does it. So either way, it's possibility, not guarantee. Yeah. Possibility, there's opportunity. Uh, the next thing, let, let, let's search for something else in the baby category. What, uh, 
What's something else in baby category? Um, car seat. Good. Car seat for babies. Let's go for uh, car seat yeah. covers. Car seat covers, car seat protectors. I did not even know that something like this exists. Uh, this is crazy. It's car seat cover and breastfeeding uh, <laughs> cover. So, <laughs> all right. So, let me just take a look here at some of these reviews. Usually, baby category actually is mostly all good reviews. Let's just see. Uh, by the way, did you notice how now on Amazon, page one is not 20 items anymore. Now it's like 50 or 60 items. This, this yeah, happened in the that. last few yeah. weeks. Kind of a, They've changed uh, kind it. Of crazy. Uh, yeah. Also, there is something very strange happening on Amazon. Uh, there's a glitch right now. And this is, you know, today is April 4. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it's not happening. But on page one, something is broken on every Amazon search. Like, look here. This is car seats, right? But as you scroll down, Look what you see. Uh, yeah. Cell phone mount. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Uh, a mobile plug. Uh, a fan. You know, iPad holder. So, so like there's something wrong with Amazon. I don't know if you, if you look at anything right now, almost every search in page one, you see a lot of crazy things. But anyways, that, that's, a side, that's a side point. But anyways, let's go here to the top. And again, let's just use our imagination. So let's just say everything had the same number of reviews, you know, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300. As you can see, everything is very high, 4.6 or five stars, all right? 4.5, 5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5. Let's say this one had three. So again, which one would you be least likely to pick? That one with three, absolutely, yeah. Three stars, because in, in the buyer's mind, it's like, hey, something's wrong with this product. People don't like it. So why, why would I buy it, all right? So I'm going to put here, Review rating, max 3.5. Basically, I'm telling Helium 10, show me something that's selling a lot of money, but less than 3.5 stars. And again, by definition, maybe this could be opportunity because if every product had five stars, nobody is going to buy the three-star product. It just doesn't make sense unless everybody maybe, maybe everybody has only three stars. Okay, well, if they do and I come in with a new product that's five stars, guess what? I'm already going to look better than everybody else. The other side is, again, maybe other people are five stars, but everybody picks this because um, they know that this is the one that they need. Like, here's a company that I used to work for. Let me show you these reviews. You, you'll be shocked when you see these reviews. This is a company I brought, uh, and they're selling uh, three, $3 million, $3 million uh, per year now. But look at the number one, page one, position one. This is selling uh, a more than one. I remember this is selling more than 100 units per day. Wow. Three stars. 2.5 stars. Three stars. Why? Because everybody needs this product. It, it, they saw it on TV or, or something, right? Look, every single one is only three stars or 2.5 stars. And this is the only brand that they want. So they don't care about the reviews. They have to get it. All right. So things like that exist. The next thing, let's look over here. Let me just take a look. I'm going to use X-ray. I am going to show you uh, one feature. Uh, hopefully, I can find one on this page. Let's take a look here. Well, wow, here's one product, colon cleanser, that is making almost three quarters of a million dollars per month. That is ridiculous. Wow. All right. So everything. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at this one and compare it to this one. Okay. So we see here, uh, this is some diet pill, um, and we have a lot of images. It tells us what it has. It, it shows ingredients detail. It shows lifestyle image. Uh, even So really full number of images, kind of like really everything I wanted to know about this product is right there. This is kind of a, a nice bullet point suit, kind of an attractive listing, right? I mean, it's not the best, yeah. but it's decent. Now take a look at this. Two images. Only three. Only two, yeah. So yeah, and this is a video. Uh, less than eight pictures. Here's a video about the owner. Like, who cares about, I, I don't care that the owner uh, is going to, I don't know, Dominican Republic and, and, and um, making a school. You know, that is very nice. But most people who goes to Amazon, they, they want the product. You know, uh, if the company is doing great things, that is wonderful. But that does not necessarily make the difference, all right? Here, I can't even see the ingredients or, or I don't know what this is used for. Or, I mean, this just tells me packaging. I mean, this is so stupid, right? 
So which listing is more attractive? Absolutely. This is the, the, that one. Yeah, this exactly. one. Exactly. So that's the other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to say, hey, show me max number of images. Let's just say three. So that right. we can improve when we find products, we can improve. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because again, regardless of how old the listing or how good it does, if they only have two images or three images, but still making this amount of money, I come in with a new product and I have eight images. Well, already I have an improvement over that. So let's see. The, the, again, what, what I'm asking Helium 10, baby category, beauty category, home and kitchen, more than $5,000, let's, let's go ahead and make this $7,000. I'm going to get a little bit greedy. Um, uh, the cost of gas is too expensive. So let me, let me go $7,000. we have got from $17 to $27, less than 40 reviews, 3.5 or less stars, three images uh, or less. So, you know, it's usually with only one category, maybe we will hardly find any. But with three categories, um, I'm sure we can find some. And this is a very narrow search, actually. Usually, maybe you only want to do one of these. So uh, I'm trying to find products that match all three. And uh, by the way, the, the thing that showed me how I knew this one had only two images, here in uh, X-Ray, which we're going to go over soon, we have a column that I believe is unique to us and says how many images the, that the listing has. So that is very uh, helpful. Well, wow. actually, this found more than 200 products. Wow. So usually you want to narrow this down, all right? So l l let me just take off one of these categories. Let's take off... Uh, let's take off beauty and let's try it again. I'll, you, that is a good indication. The max you could show in black box is 200. Some people say, no, no, I want to see everything, but no, it's a good indication that if you have over 200, um, if you have over 200, you need to make some more filters to make it more narrow. So the next thing I did was I said, Hey, show me something that does not have more than one variation. Okay. Now I have a very, uh, unique, list only 15 products i found so i'm just going to start you know taking a look let me just start here at the bottom uh if something is a brand name i don't look at it all right gerber is a very popular brand uh it's not comparable to to private label all right um this one has 12 sellers so i think probably this is a brand name too you know usually if you see something that has 12 sellers that means it's maybe arbitrage or wholesale right what in the world is this? I have no idea what is that. Bunnies, toy bunnies, uh, oil glow dry enhancing oil. Okay, I'm going I'm to take a look at that. That might be something interesting for a beauty category. Easter egg tree. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's, uh, Easter is coming soon, so now we might start seeing some Easter products here. Um, front door wreath. That looks uh, something interesting. Harry Potter, this is probably licensed, so I don't want to do a license, you know, product. Crayola is a brand name. Bath towels, all right? This looks <laughs> one star. Oh, my God. One star, uh, and it's selling over $8,000 a month. Yeah. Powerful clothes, moth traps. Very interesting. Only one star. Candle, teak, wood, and tobacco soy. What the heck is that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at that one. Uh, Sable Electric Massager. No idea what is that. Um, another one of those candles. Okay, so we have, we have some different products here. Let me exit out of these. All right, let's take a look at this first one. So here, exactly as I said, less than three images. This is a terrible listing. Usually when you see something with only one image, all right, um, also the listing is terrible. And no, look at this. They only points. have... <laughs> Two bullet points. Two bullet uh, points. To me, this is for sure a brand name. Yeah. Otherwise, there is no way that, you know, I don't know this brand, so I didn't know. And, and that's what happens. A lot of us don't know. But if you see something like this, it's got to be a brand name because there's probably not even any keywords <laughs> in, in, in this product. So I'm, I'm going to exit out of that one. Now, look at this one. Yellow rose and mixed wildflower floral front door wreath. You know, only three images. Uh, 3.5 stars, 3.3 actually. Um, wow, a lot of products similar. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna take a look at that one. That's interesting to me. What in the world is this? 
Um, I have, I mean, have you any idea what is this for? I've never seen that. Take, take wood, tobacco, candle. Uh, oh, wax. I think it's wax. Maybe wax to make your own. Yeah, it gets back to what you said before, you know, you know, yeah. let the passion of uh, what you know, your fine brothers, they are so weird that you've never heard of, but they sell exactly. more than $5,000 a month. Yeah. So how much was that one making? That one is making about $7,000 a month and this one is making about 8,000. Okay. So here's the question. This is the next stage. Now you have a couple of products. Um, we know it's making money. What drives the sales? Where is the money coming from? Yes. You know, maybe they're making some PPC, but at the end of the day, most of their sales come from what? How, how do people find their product? They must know about it. It's something that is on demand. Yes. And so how do they, how do they find it eventually on Amazon though? Like, how do you find something on Amazon when you, you have something in your mind you want to buy? So by what do you keywords, do? By search, by keywords. You put a keyword in a search. So what's yeah. a logical question we have? We know this one makes 8,000, this one makes 7,000. So what's the logical question that we have if we're interested in these niche? What are the keywords that people are looking for? Exactly. So we're going to go into that just a little bit here because we're going to have a video on Cerebro later, but this is part of the product research because yes, I know I can compete with this, you know, because it has a lot of bad things about it. But the question is, can I compete overall? So I'm going to open up two windows of Cerebro. I'm going to open up here, Cerebro. I'm going to put the ASIN and I'm going to do get keywords. I'm going to open up another one for this other one. And where is that? That is there. That is here. Okay. So let's look at this first one. Uh, the first thing that is important to know is uh, Cerebro finds different keywords from different browsing scenarios. It shows us where we have detected this showing up in sponsored ads, the, the words that Amazon recommends. But this is the one I'm interested in, organic keywords. This means that right now, Helium 10 just found every single keyword where this product is showing up in the top 306 results organically. So I'm just going to show those right now uh, organic. I don't care about the sponsored or Amazon recommended right now. All right, I'll do the same thing for here. There's uh, 126 words here. Let's do organic and apply. And my light just went off. That's all right. Okay, so here. Now here's a question. Um, Maybe I'm going to find a keyword here. I'm not sure. Again, what we're trying to do right now is find what are the keywords that is giving these products most of its sales. Amazon doesn't tell you specifically, even if it's your own listing, you don't know. So the question is, what does Amazon uh, or what information do we have to let us know? So let's take a look at here. For example, this might be something we think is relevant. Scent fire candles or, or maybe right here. Uh, let's do this one. Giant candle. Okay. So oh, maybe this can be made to do a giant candle, but it's organic position is 295. So let's say there is at least 30 things on page one. About what page is this going to show up on? If I search for giant candle. Um, page one. Uh, no, for no, if, if the position no, no. 295. Uh, page. Uh, is then Oh, you got me now, Bradley. <laughs> I'm trying to do where's the your, math. Where's your calculator mind? <laughs> Actually, I, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it could be page, you know, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It depends how many items are on uh, each page. But for sure, it's not on page one or two. I mean, uh, being number 295, all right? Yeah. So just, just to make sure everybody understands what 295 means, that means if I search for this, let's actually search for it, giant candle, you know, this is position one, two, three, four. So all right. basically I would have to go all the way to like, you know, maybe page seven or something to find, to find that one. So, so my question to you is, are they getting a big number of sales from this keyword for this product? I would say no, because they're not on page one for that. Exactly. Nobody, like when you order something, you, how often do you go past page one? Very rarely. Usually oh, 95% of customers, I would say, if not more than that, would buy exactly. from the very first page of products. Where sometimes there are uh, 20 products, but now Amazon's just changing to 40, so you never know how many products. Yeah. But usually 
it's always from the very first page. And this is why we use softwares like Helium to make sure that we get the right keywords to get on that very first page as a seller. But as a very buyer, true. yeah, they all buy from page one usually. 100%, 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, I want to see all the pro and this, I cannot understate how powerful this is. You know, very few tools, if any, uh, have this kind of filtering ability. I'm going to say, show me what is on page one from one, from rank one to 20. All right. Now here is another uh, situation here. Um, let me go ahead and, and sort this. Let us look at this keyword. All right. So here's a keyword. They are position six. So they are, that means they are on page That's one, page position one. six, but the estimated search volume, that means how many times this is searched per month is 19 times, not even one per day. So again, here's my question. This one is rank number six, you know, page one. Are they getting a lot of sales from this keyword? Um, Remember, they get $8,000 worth of sales, but do we think a big part of the $8,000 is coming from this keyword? Probably not because it's probably going not many search. Uh, exactly. So Exactly. So like maybe they can get one order from this keyword a month. That, that's almost nothing. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to say, hey, show me the words where maybe it's being searched at least 300 times per month. And while that's doing that, let's go to the other one and do the same things. Uh, I did organic. I did uh, organic rank one to 20. And I said search volume, maybe uh, 300. Let's see what that one says too. Okay, let's go back here. And now we have a list of interesting keywords. Now, uh, here is a keyword, tobacco candle. All right. It's Which searched for 1,000 times a month. Mm -hmm. And it is organic rank seven. That means it's page one, position seven. So what do you think? Maybe a lot of key, uh, a lot, uh, a good number of sales coming from this keyword? I would say that probably most of its sales would come from that keyword, although there is also pfcandle.co, which has got- Yep, pfcandle. Oh, look at this one. pfcandle, this might be the, okay, so here we have it. We just discovered that this actually is a, a famous brand name. Yeah. Look at that, PF Candle Company. And people are searching specifically for this brand. So right now, right just from this, I am thinking, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure I want to sell a product like this because if you find that a product is getting a lot of sales from their brand name, that means most of their sales are coming from brand recognition. And you as a private label seller, you probably do not have the brand recognition. So right away, I might just go ahead and say, you know what? Forget this product. This is not going to be a good one. Um, let's look at the other one. Here we go. Uh, floral wreath. 1,300 searches, page one, position six. How about this one? Spring wreaths for front door, 40,000 searches per month. They are page one, position 15. So this is very interesting now. So I'm gonna take a look at one of these. Floral wreaths for front door. Let's take a look at this one. Aha, okay. So I, I don't remember which one is our product. I think it was... Uh, which one was it? There's so one very interesting thing on that page that you've ordered. So a couple of things very uh, firstly, there is a, uh, this product is not seasonable because mm -hmm. it's a product that can be used throughout the whole year. And the, the very first thing that came to my eyes is that everyone on page one has got less than 300 reviews, which as a seller yes. is going to make it very easy for me to rank on the page one because you can get there with, less than 10 reviews by the look of it. Yes, so let's, let's take a look here. Um, whoops, I changed it too much. There we go, it's coming out now. So let's take a look at the all of page one and now we are using a tool called X-Ray. Uh, this is part of our Chrome extension here, all right? So let's take a look here. The first thing I like to look at is, is if everybody dominating on sales. Let me show you an example of what you do not want to see. I'm going to search for collagen peptides. All right, what do you not want to see? Let's take a look. I'm gonna show you this page here. Uh, you guys are going to be shocked at, at some of these numbers. This is crazy. Uh, and this is a mistake that many sellers make is they wanna find the top selling ones. But what happens is the top selling ones 
these are the most difficult to sell. Look at these sales. $2 million per month, nine, $1 million per month, 1 million, 80,000 units per month, you know, estimated. That's how much these ones are selling. Imagine your sales velocity to compete with products that are selling like this. It's almost impossible. But look at here. The number one guy is selling 1,000 units a month. That's a lot, but everybody else is under 1,000. You know, $6,000, or actually this is, uh, where's our product? This is our product here that we had, uh, you know, chosen before. Uh, we've got 200 sales, 200 units, 80 sales. This is not bad. This is like, you know, uh, five units a day, 10 units a day. This is doable. The next thing, what else do I look at? I look at what he was talking about, which is review count. Let's look here at collagen peptides. Review count. 6,000, 3,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. No, that's not, doesn't mean it's impossible, but it makes it difficult. Look at this one. 200, 200 to a 100, 80, 60, 0, 130. Hey, you put something here, a new product, only 5 or 10 reviews, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. What and, about- uh, We need to remember that uh, they are, for example, the one that has got 200 reviews mm -hmm. uh, is selling uh, 31,000 per month. Yes. Uh, but these are, are coming from a search that you did with people with uh, less than, what was it, three pictures? And, uh, you know, so, so it's definitely something that we could improve upon. And even yes. with like 10 reviews, if I make a better listing, and I'm saying this from experience. I've been mm -hmm. competing with for a product, a potato peeler, uh, on a brand that is very well known. And uh, everyone said, you're crazy. You're not going to compete with them. And I created my own brand, my own private label product. And I managed to get there, even though I've got many less reviews than them because I did the exact same search with, uh, uh, with products with, that have got uh, like three pictures. And I made a better picture. Um, just the pictures are what stop you from scrolling, right? Because yep. they are what attract yeah. attention. If you put uh, pictures, um, measurements, details, lifestyle pictures, and you use the mm -hmm. whole eight pictures, it will make it look better, even if you haven't got as many reviews because you will be attracted yes. from yes. it. Very important. Very important that everybody pays attention to that. So uh, even... Even without that many reviews, you can still have success. But this just makes it a little bit easier because Absolutely. nobody has so many reviews. The other thing we look at, like, again, look at collagen peptides. 4.55, 4.55, 4.55, Again, that doesn't make it impossible just because they all have high reviews. But that's just one less thing that you could have the advantage. But look here. The best, you know, the, the number one one is five. But look at this. Four, four, three point five, zero, three. Another 3.5. So that is something. If we come in with five stars, we are already better than more than half of this page. All right. So that's another thing I like to see. Uh, what else? Number of images. Let's take a look. We've got uh, here's one that only has two images. Six, five. Oh, here's one that has one image. So, you know, this is not too much of an opportunity. A lot of these top guys are doing well. You know, they have they probably have a good listing, but still. Uh, it's nice to see that there are some listings with very few images, but still very highly placed on page one. So this does not mean uh, I'm suggesting everybody right now go to Alibaba and try to try to order a, a product like this. But this just shows you uh, the process. You start with black box, look for indications that might mean opportunity. Now you go to Amazon itself and examine those products, find out what keywords may be driving those sales. And then look at those keywords. Do the keywords indicate opportunity or not? And then from there, it's basically you decide, hey, um, should, I, should I go further or not? But uh, this is a, a process that Helium 10 makes very easy because imagine if you had no tool. <laughs> How would you know where to start? You would have no idea to be able to, to search. What we did would have taken maybe 20 years, literally 20 years, because you would have to search every page of Amazon and, and who knows. And maybe I would have never found that because I don't even know what is a floral wreath, you know, or Absolutely. I don't even know what I'm saying. That, right? Maybe it's wreath, I, I don't know. But this is why it's important to use tools um, like Helium 10. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video and you have any comments or any questions about it? I am, uh, I, I've been using Helium for a long time, but every time that I see you operating, Riley, I get blown away by, uh, by the, the speed of finding products. As you just said, you know, I, you know just on that short video guide, guys, you, you see how 
it shortened like 10 years of your life if you didn't have a software like that that helps you to find golden products. And that is the exact same technique that I've been using uh, in my business to, to do over, over eight figures so far in the past four years. And it's thanks to softwares like this one that uh, I have managed to do that. Uh, you know, there's no secrets. It's about using the right softwares. Uh, one thing that I'd like to mention is uh, if you are not using Helium 10, first of all, you are crazy. And second is uh, uh, you can get a 10% discount uh, monthly if you apply the, the code BINCHI10. Uh, that is for Victor, I-N-C-I-N. Or you could get a 50% discount if you use uh, BINCHI50 one-off purchase. So yeah, thanks Bradley for your time. Today was about the black box, which is just one of the features that uh, Helium and we have over 20 tools uh, in Helium no, 10. That, so, that is a big difference. You know, I, I think a lot of people ask me, hey, who is your main competitor, you know, Helium 10? And I say, we really have no competitor. Man, there is no competitors. Yeah. You know, black box Helium, has competitors. in everyone else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like black box, one tool, of course, there's competitor, like maybe another tool, but Overall, Helium 10, there's no other tools that has more than 20 tools no. uh, all together. So that's why I say we have no competition. And, uh, you know, one thing that um, I don't think Bradley mentioned is, so I will mention the fact that Helium 10 has been created by multi-million dollar sellers that have been doing private label and launched, just Bradley launched over 400 products. So Helium 10 is something that has not just been done by somebody that is a, a developer, but it's been done by somebody that is actually an Amazon seller. And, uh, and sold millions of dollars on Amazon through private label. And uh, I'm really excited with this uh, series of videos uh, where Bradley is helping me for. He's mentioned a little bit about Cerebro, which is one of the cool features about uh, Helium that is gonna help you to find the keyword to build your awesome listing. And this is one of the next calls that we're gonna be doing with Bradley. So yeah, thanks again, Bradley, for, for coming over. I really appreciate your time and thanks for, uh, for you know, coming to my audience and showing how awesome Helium time is. Thanks, Bradley. Thanks for having me. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.